Hey there, and welcome back to Truth Meets Fiction. I'm Billy, and today, we're diving into the mind of Ruth Ware, the mastermind of psychological thrillers that'll keep you guessing from start to finish. From in a dark, dark wood to the woman in Cabin 10, Ruth Ware's books have captivated fans worldwide with their intricate plots, layered characters, and jaw-dropping twists. In this special author showcase, we'll explore Ware's unique writing style, what drives her suspenseful storytelling, and why her thrillers are so impossible to put down. If you're a fan of Gone Girl or Sharp Objects, then you're in for a real treat. So, sit back, relax, and get ready to step into the twisted world of Ruth Ware. Ever wondered what makes a thriller so captivating that you can't put it down, even as the tension makes your pulse race? Well, few authors have mastered the art of psychological suspense quite like Ruth Ware. Her books have topped bestsellers lists around the world, and it's no wonder, Ware has a gift for creating worlds that feel both real and deeply unsettling. Today on Truth Meets Fiction, we're taking a deep dive into the mind behind thrillers like The Woman in Cabin 10 and The Turn of the Key, exploring what makes Ruth Ware one of the most intriguing voices in psychological suspense. Welcome back, everyone, to Truth Meets Fiction. I'm Billy, and today, I'm thrilled to bring you an author showcase on none other than Ruth Ware. Known for gripping narratives that play with your mind, Ware has established herself as a go-to for anyone looking to lose themselves in dark, atmospheric thrillers. But what exactly sets her apart? What makes her books the kind you can't stop thinking about long after the last page? Stick around as we unravel her unique storytelling style, her unforgettable characters, and her ability to turn the mundane into something deeply disturbing. Psychological thrillers often hinge on two key elements, character complexity and suspense. And Ruth wears books? They have both in spades. One challenge where faces, and masters, is crafting an atmosphere so tense that you can feel it creeping up on you. She often places her characters in everyday settings, a vacation cruise, a country house, even a modern, high-tech home, but she fills these familiar places with mystery and danger. This adds a layer of realism that pulls readers into the story. But, as much as where settings and atmosphere draw readers in, maintaining suspense can be tricky. Where often walks the fine line between giving readers clues and throwing in unexpected twists. Some readers appreciate this approach, feeling it creates a dynamic story. However, others have noted that certain reveals feel a bit too abrupt. It's a divisive point in her storytelling, as not everyone loves the uncertainty where builds with her unreliable narrators. And then there's her character work, where tends to develop protagonists who are flawed, relatable, and often a little haunted themselves. This approach can make the characters feel incredibly real, but it also means they're sometimes unreliable or untrustworthy. This adds to the suspense, as we're left questioning, can we even trust the protagonist to tell us the truth? Now, let's take a closer look at Ware's approach to narrative and structure. One aspect that really stands out is her use of atmosphere. Take the woman in Cabin 10, for example. Here, Ware uses the claustrophobia of a cruise ship, a place that's meant to be relaxing, and transforms it into a prison, a setting where danger feels ever-present. She does this with slow building tension, subtle clues, and a protagonist who's facing her own internal struggles, adding layers of suspense that make every scene feel charged. Character development is another hallmark of Ware's style. Her protagonists are often everyday people, like in In a Dark, Dark Wood, where Nora, a reclusive writer, is thrust into a web of secrets and betrayal. Ware is particularly skilled at making you root for her protagonists, even if they're not perfect. However, not every reader loves this, some feel that the protagonist's constant self-doubt or paranoia can feel repetitive. It's a part of Ware's style that really divides her readers. Finally, Ware's pacing keeps readers hooked. By mixing moments of introspection with bursts of action or surprise, she ensures there's never a dull moment. Still, some critics argue that her pacing sometimes dips, especially when she leans heavily on inner monologues. This can make certain sections feel slower. But Ware's fans would argue it's all part of building that deep psychological tension she's known for. Now, let's talk about a key moment in one of Ware's novels that shows her skill for building psychological tension. In The Turn of the Key, there's a climactic scene where the protagonist, a nanny named Rowan, 
experiences what can only be described as paranormal activity in a house that's been outfitted with smart home technology. This moment is spine tingling, because where sets up a modern, tech-savvy environment, but fills it with an age-old dread of the unknown. It's a moment that demonstrates where strength at using modern fears, like technology and surveillance, alongside classic horror tropes. But here's the twist, some readers find these climactic moments a bit too convenient, almost as if they wrap up too neatly or suddenly. It's a complaint that pops up in reviews of her work, while her build-up is fantastic, her conclusions can feel either rushed or open-ended, leaving some readers wanting a bit more closure. But where is unapologetically unpredictable, and maybe that's the point, her endings often mirror the chaotic and unpredictable nature of life itself. So, when it comes to Ruth Ware, you're getting a blend of intense atmosphere, layered characters, and a pacing that keeps you turning pages. Her work reflects both the strengths and challenges of psychological thrillers, her attention to suspense and atmosphere make her stories unforgettable, while her protagonist's inner struggles can make for a more complex, sometimes divisive reading experience. For fans of thrillers that don't shy away from flawed characters and twisted mysteries, Ruth Ware's books are a must. Thanks for joining me in this deep dive into the mind of Ruth Ware. Now, if you're a fan of her work, or just love psychological thrillers in general, let us know in the comments below. What's your favorite Ware novel, or do you have recommendations for other authors we should showcase? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned to Truth Meets Fiction for more author showcases, book reviews, and in-depth looks at the best in suspense and thriller literature. I'm Billy, and I'll see you next time.